What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Chud's Barbecue. My name is Bradley Robinson and today I'm hanging out at the Chud shop as you can see. Hey there Nick. Hey there Brad. That was so jolly. I liked it. <laughs> what are you doing? Packing up some packages. Yeah. As usual. Got some new stickers folks. Pretty cool. Anywho, today is a very fun day. A very rare day because I've got a new grill. But what makes it rare is that I didn't build it myself. And I gotta say, I am pretty pumped. <laughs> oh. That's right, folks. I got myself a mill scale Yakitori. I've been wanting one of these things for a very long time because, as you can see, this thing is built like a tank and just so cool looking. If you're unfamiliar with the guys over at Mill Scale, they are a local smoker building and live fire grill company over in Lockhart. Known those guys for years, great dudes. And they do incredible work. Much like a lot of pits in Texas, this thing is built like a tank. Heavy duty, beautiful clean seams on there. And this thing is built to last a lifetime. But let's look at it. First and foremost, two levels of great cooking, which is a lot of space for a small footprint. And of course, these can go up and down anywhere on this notch system, depending on how big your coal bed is or how high off the heat you want your meat to be. And I know what you're thinking. What do I do when that grate is super hot? I can't just grab it. <laughs> they thought of that. With this included little tool here, this hooks right on. Pretty convenient. It's a lot less awkward if you're not trying to film yourself do it. But on the inside here, you'll notice this thing has got a cute little grate in there for better airflow, which you can control through this sweet little door. Very nice, cool design. Wish I thought of it. And of course, this whole thing is lined with, not fire brick. Bones, what's it called? The fire brick liner. Uh, it is. <laughs> Something panel. Deposit, reposit, uh, uh, refractory panel. Refractory panel. Yeah, it's basically like a sheet of the same material Firebricks is made of. So this thing is definitely gonna last a very long time. You're not burning through that metal. You're not burning through that brick. And also the heat retention is gonna be off the charts. And I mean, just look at the precision. Those boys do such great work. But you also may notice that this thing is branded by Miller Lite. But before we get to that, I think it's time to fire this thing up. Gotta say, this thing is pretty sweet. A lot of insulation, got some good amount of heat coming out of there. But because this is the maiden voyage, I'm gonna start out just by getting it real hot. Hit it with some spray oil, you know, get those grates ready to go and just let it burn out for a little bit. Looking so nice and shiny. Beautiful. Also, I apologize for the noise out there. Bones didn't tell me that it was cicada season here at the Chud Shop too. Just started. Really? Not my fault. But, you know, once we got a nice fire going, we gotta make sure this grill works. So, uh, what should we cook? Everything. Everything? <laughs> Coming up! Oh, that one definitely looks dead. Threw a little herb butter on there too. Whoo, that is hot. Gotta tell you, the smell of grilling seafood never gets old. Love it. Ooh, once that butter starts hitting the coals too, gotta love that. Best part is, as things start finishing, just put them up top. Grilling at the church shop. All right, all the seafood is off and resting, and uh, I think we might as well get a couple of mushrooms on here too while we're at it. These are just some spinach and cheese stuffed mushrooms. You know, we gotta have our vegetables sometimes, folks. Boop. Also got some corn. Nothing says summer grilling like corn. We're gonna do a slow burn on these, put them up top. Beautiful. You know what, I'm gonna put these up top too. It's plenty toasty up here. Gives me more time to eat seafood. Oh, 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 oh. Ready yet? Yep. This is what lunch looks like at the Chud Shop sometimes. Never look like this. No. <laughs> but you know what this would pair really well with? Miller Lite. A nice cold Miller Lite. <laughs> Do we have any? Oh, I th oh yeah, we got a couple left. Hey. <laughs> kind of toasty out there. This one is incredibly buttery. I thought they were going to overflow a little bit more, but... No, they cook right on. Mm. Oh, wow. It's so rich. Mm-hmm. Oh, so good. Mm. Mm. I don't know about you, but I love throwing scallops on the grill. Ooh, beautiful. Mm. 
That's part about seafood. You really don't need to season it much. Yeah. Like a scallop, I put nothing on that. <laughs> I was going to say, like... And that is perfectly... It's like lightly cool. salted. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's brined or something. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So far, can confirm that that grill works. You owe me lobster money. Assuming you take the head off. Yeah. Ooh, these are not easy to peel. Mm. Mm. Grilled shrimp, grilled scallops, grilled oysters. Sign me up any day. That char went through the shell. I yeah. wasn't sure if it would yeah. actually taste charred. <laughs> uh, that's really good. That head on had some creaminess. It did. At the head. <laughs> I've never had that before. It's good. It's like the tamale of a lobster. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we devoured this pile pretty quick, huh? All this stuff cooked up super quick too, which is great. So as you know, we're big fans of Miller Lite over here at the Chud Shop, which is why we are super pumped that they are now a channel sponsor. And I want to give them a big shout out for this awesome fridge. Look at that. Gotta love that. Chud's barbecue tastes like Miller Time, Texas. <laughs> so cool. And yeah, that ought to last us a little while. And also right now, if you go to itsmillertimetexas.com, you can sign up to win a whole bunch of good stuff, including custom gear and swag, but also a mill scale yakitori grill. That's right, folks. I think they're giving two of these away. So if you go to itsmillertimetexas.com and sign up, you can be entered to win one of these awesome grills. And I gotta say, this thing is gonna get a lot of use. Although I think it's time to throw some more stuff on it. Got a couple of these veggie kebabs. Not sure how well these are gonna cook up. I don't really have good luck with vegetables, especially in kebab form but we'll see how it goes. Also, these guys are looking nice and juicy, nice and melty. Mm, love it. Little chud shop update. You may notice it is a lot less full in here than the last time we shot a vid in here. So thank you for everyone who came and picked up their stuff. Finally can shoot darts again. You know, we've got a lot of room and this guy over here, I don't know what he's up to. Still got a couple chud boxes and a couple 115s waiting for pickup. This is the old shop pit. Lives right next to the door, but I don't know. I think it's got company now. Although I got to get a better table for this thing. No scale sells a cart. Maybe I'll buy one of those or build one. But I gotta say, I'm really loving the double tier cooking. Because up here, you can just kind of let it slowly cook away, keep warm. And down here, we get some hot and fast action. And as expected, as soon as I tried to flip these around, they all fell apart. So we're making another medley. But yeah, holding heat really well. Super easy to cook on. All right, fresh off the grill, we got course number two. The grilled veggie section. Because you know, you gotta eat your veggies. My mom always says the grilled veggie medley that was once skewers. Grilled corn looking beautiful. These spinach mozzarella stuffed mushrooms are looking extra melty and tasty. And then I took the other two corns and made some elote out of them. But while I'm here, I'm gonna grab a little Jacobson garlic salt. Hit those veg real quick, because they don't have any seasoning on them yet. Bony. Do I have to? Mmm, <laughs> I think I got some of that cotija on there. I put a little garlic salt on there too. Mmm, that's really good. You know, veggies, if you're gonna eat them, you might as well throw them on the grill. Mmm, these are really good. I've you, never actually had an elote before. You know what? I didn't want to say that on camera, but I don't think I have either. <laughs> <laughs> I know why they exist now. <laughs> that is delicious. I like these. Look at these juicy little guys. Oh, mm, it pops. A little grilled onion. Don't mind if I do. Mm -hmm. That nice grilled corn in there. Beautiful. Mm. Gotta say, it is a nice change of pace eating something that I don't feel terrible about eating. Mm. So it's been several hours and I'm starting to get hungry again. Feed me. What are you in the mood for? Yes. All of it? Yes. Hey, it's kind of nice at night. Looking good out here. Let's start out with a little Kalbi. A little Korean barbecue action. Ooh, gotta love that sizzle. Best part about Korean barbecue is that it smells so good immediately. Convenient part about a grill like this. You can just look and see how it's cooking. Ah. You can tell when that fat starts rendering, folks. Ooh. Oh. Let's do this. Yeah, looks good. I just uh, forgot to push record for me doing the cut sequence, but <laughs> these are looking mighty tasty. Mm. Why is it so good? That is so good. Mm. Almost as good as Happy Gilmore. I'm gonna devour all of this unless you stop me. Mm. Mm. I like uh, Galbi because it's kind of like bacon. It's good when it's soft, it's good when it's burned, it's good when it's crispy. Yeah, the burnt sugars is not bad. It's pleasant. 
So there's definitely a bit of a learning curve to this pit here. I had this chicken all the way up on the top rack, and even still, when that fat starts dripping, it can kiss the bottom of these things. So they got a little darker than I wanted, but still look good to me. Chickens came off the pit looking good. We're gonna let those rest. But before we call it a night, I think we really need to do one final test to make sure that this cooker can really cook. Big old tomahawk steak. Beautiful Wagyu tomahawk. Got this from my buddies over at RC Ranch. I dry brined this steak last night, by the way, so just gonna cook this thing until it's looking beautiful. Are you a drum guy or a thigh guy? I thought I was a drum guy, but I think I'm a thigh guy. Yeah, me too. I don't know. Nice looking juicy blade though. All right, folks, I think it's time to dive into this absolutely beautiful grilled tomahawk. And yeah, I covered it in butter when it came off the pit to rest because <laughs> Why not? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Ah, the bone. Just gonna go all the way through. Don't see any reason not to. Looking good to me. Last course of the day. You know, we started out with some good seafood. I figure we might as well end with a nice big juicy steak. Yeah. Mmm, that's really good. <laughs> I didn't even put any pepper or anything on there yet. Really? Oh well. Mm. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Mm. That's perfectly seasoned. Got that little kiss of flame to it too. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that, folks. That is phenomenal. Breaking in a new pit. Mm -hmm. It's been a good day. Rachel took the worst week off of work ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really good. Mm. So rich, so beefy. So I got home last night, Bones, and I decided that I don't think we did enough grilling on this yakitori yet. <laughs> I'm still hungry. So, I, we just, you know, we gotta do, we gotta do our due diligence. A little jalapeno popper action. You know how much I love these. We'll put these up top for the slow burn. Got him with a little rub. Great way to season your fire too. <laughs> Might as well throw some burgers on while we got this other rack going, right? I gotta say, it's super convenient. Knowing exactly when to flip. Ooh, it's like a smash burger crust. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Hope none of this bacon grease drips onto my beautiful burgers. Oh, it smells so good out here. I really wish that giant AC wasn't right there though. Oh well. Check in on these guys. Looking nice and crispy. Beep. Oh yeah. Ooh. Gotta love a classic grilled burger. I don't do this enough, just the classic grilled burger. Yeah. I'm always smash burgering or smoking them first or something, but. That looks so good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Like a medium burger? <clears throat> High drive. Great crust. There you go. That's a backyard burger. Mm -hmm. There's something about a medium burger though. Different mm -hmm. texture. Ooh, nice and crispy, just the way I like it. These look fantastic. Gotta love a popper. Beautiful crust on that bacon. The jalapeno has some bite. You think that creepy tall man in the back wants one? Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Bacon and charcoal. Just cooked a lovely rack of lamb and a beautiful sausage link. Joined by some wonderful guests. We got a beautiful rack of lamb and some snossage. Hi, call Mr. Leroy. Hey! You want to slice up that rack of lamb for me? Yeah. Where are you two coming from? Las Vegas. Vegas! Vegas, baby. Very nice. Welcome to the Chug Shop. Thank you. This is what happens every single night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. Cheers. Clinkies. Smells super good. Oh! Oh, damn. Oh, oh. And then the, like, the juices down there, you gotta just like drag it through the juices. Come on, Mike. End cut is so good too. Uh, no. So tender. That looks kind of tough. I don't so know. tender. <laughs> Dude, the juice, the juices on the table just the are not used enough. Ooh, liking the color on that. It's a nice cook on it. Ooh. Nice studage. Oh god. That's extremely good. I love the chest out. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? 
Oh, uh, it's not that bad. No. <laughs> so they were up here cooking, and now we, Jackson, kind of brushed some hot sauce on them. Is there a train or something? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we put them down here to get a little bit more color. You see those little bubbles? I love it when you can see just that little tiny bubbles coming out the bone, dripping down there. Oh my god. It's good because you can pass it on. <laughs> really spicy. What is that? <laughs> what sauce is you? I, uh, the stuff. is <laughs> extreme. Oh god. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> I don't have the heat level. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> BB, what do you think of the chug shot? Yeah. What are you guys up to? Drinking Miller Lite. Miller Lite. Sometimes people just come by and talk. Water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Penelope, that is quite the bandana you got. Brooke, where did you get that? Here. <laughs> I didn't realize it said that. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna have to count as the official taste test on this video because the grill is off. So. All right, John, that is it. That is how to break in a brand new Mill Scale Yakitori Pit. Big shout out to Miller Lite and Mill Scale for making this happen. This is a great little cooker and a very fun way to cook. And even after all that, I think I put two or three bags of charcoal through this thing. It is still solid as a rock and looking great. And Mill Scale also makes these in different sizes and make bigger ones if that's something you'd be interested in. And remember right now you can win one of these from Miller Lite at itsmillertimetx.com. I'll have a link in the description where you can go to itsmillertimetx.com to enter to win one of these as well as a bunch of other great prizes. Highly recommended. But all that being said, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that subscribe button. Let YouTube know by dropping a like on this video. If you give any of these recipes a try for yourself, be sure to tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see what y'all are cooking. Big shout out to all the Patreon members. Thank you for supporting Team Chun and allowing me to keep making all these videos. And until the next time I see you, please go cook something outside. Peace.